My name is John Gabriel. Welcome once again to a special rep to a special presentation made for Seymour.org. In this video, I'm going to talk about a geometric method which the Greeks used, the ancient Greeks, to solve quadratic equations. Okay, so let's begin. Well, the method is based on the geometric mean theorem, which states that the square of this altitude is equal to the product of the green line length multiplied by the blue line length. Yes, so, um, and, and these here would be the roots. So, to find it, what they did was the following. They said, let's suppose we have an equation of this form here x squared minus px minus q squared is equal to zero, with both of these greater than zero. Then we'd need two factors of q squared with a difference of p. And if we take q squared over to the other side, that's exactly what we've got, right? So x differs with x minus p with a difference of p. So what they would do is they would simply construct the diameter, which is uh, basically the same as uh, p, okay, in this case here, this whole diameter here would be p, and they would construct the diameter that way, and then the altitude would divide the diameter into the two roots. So this here would be uh, one of the solutions, the green value, which is 9.552, and the other one would be uh, the blue line, okay, which is 2.448. And of course, the square of the magenta line will equal to this product. So what I've done here is I've arranged it so you can move these around and see the effects and notice how the roots are calculated. Now, if you have to take either one of these roots, don't put them into this equation here, but rather into this one here because... Um, they could be negative or positive, so you don't know what it is. The best thing to do is just to put it into this equation. Um, and the way to find out, really, what the value is, is by placing either one of these values into this equation, and you'll know if it's negative or positive, and then place it back into this equation here to see um, what the actual sign is. But that doesn't really matter because you get the magnitude of the roots. Yes? So... Using the method, you can find the two roots. It's entirely geometric. And on this side here, you have the, the, uh, the complement, which is the, uh, the difference when you calculate the geometric mean with the right angle, with the right angle outside of the circle. So this was a brilliant method that was created and I just thought I'd share it with you so that you uh, lovers of mathematics can play around with it. I'll put a post to or a link to this applet as well, and you can see what happens when you do all sorts of nice things with it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short little presentation. Till next time, I'm John Gabriel. Goodbye.